Welcome to Kung Fu Havoc number two. I'm your host, Echo Fang Grey Wolf. Before I begin, if you didn't see the video before this, I will be apologizing one more time. Especially to the 220 people who care if I live or die. Alright? I'm not going to say a lot of pleasant things about our former president. I am also going to address the elephant in the room about our current president, who's getting a bad rep. But, let's be honest, um... All politicians are just playing us like a $2 fiddle. And if you don't believe that, then um, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm 49 years old. I don't miss much. I also like to call it like I see it. So before I jump down Trump's throat, let me jump down Biden's stuff. All right? Just so that we're going to be fair. We're going to go against the guy that I voted for. Versus the guy I didn't vote for. First. Alright. Biden has signed some really bad bills in the law. Way back before Obama was in office. That really affected people of color. Alright. And for that. Everybody's saying he's a racist. And everybody's saying he's a pedo. Well. Might be slightly racist. Not gonna say he's a pedo. But. In his defense. As I learned from. Um the handsome liberal that I follow on TikTok, y'all should give him a follow too. And when you get there, tell him Echo Fang Grey Wolf sent him. Or JW Grey Wolf. He knows who I am. At least I hope he knows who I am. He probably doesn't know who I am. Anyway, he's a ball guy, cool as shit, libertarian. I am not really a liberal, and I definitely am not a conservative. I kind of skirt down the middle, and... You're either going to like what I say or you're not. This is why I apologize first. Now let's get back on this Biden shit. Through all the 80s and the 90s, he's had signed into laws and rules and things that have unequivocally gave black people problems. Alright? I said it. He gave black people problems. And everybody's calling him a racist. Alright? Now, if I can acknowledge the guy that I voted for being a racist, I would hope that you can acknowledge the guy that I didn't vote for also being a racist. Now, granted, Biden's a little creepy. Smelling people's hairs and all that shit. That's, um, it's a little over the line. You know, and, and to be honest, politicians and, and laws and shit have made it almost a inept fear for me to even hug somebody these days. I'm scared to hug somebody because I'm scared they're going to accuse me of fondling them or groping them or something. So I'm like, you know what? Let's start with a handshake. Now, if it's a woman, I will let her hug me and I will make sure I keep my hands on her shoulder blades at all fucking times. Not at the waist, not at the hip, not over here on the back. Shoulder blades. Under her arms, I'm a hug like that. That's it. Or over her arms, whatever she allows. Because I'm not going to be that creepy guy. And if, if, if all necessary, side hug. You can't go wrong with the one arm side hug. You can't go wrong with that. You can't accuse me of doing anything with the one arm side hug. No. Or, here's how this works. You side hug me, and I'll keep my ass in, in, in attention, in standing in attention. And that way, you can't accuse me of shit. Now, if the woman gropes me, I don't know how I'm going to handle that. I'm just probably going to, like, pretend that that shit didn't happen. I'm never going to get groped by a woman. I have no worries that's never going to happen. I'm not going to say it hasn't happened before, because it has, but it, I'm nobody, so it's not like anybody gave a fuck. Anyway, um, <laughs> moving on. The other crucial shit that Biden has said as a candidate, and this will stick to me into the end of time, because I heard it, he said it, and I never got over it, and it fucked me up when he said it, but it obviously worked when he said, if you don't vote for me, then you ain't black. And then when he got in office, all he did was hire people of color. Alright, for everything. No. And, and I gotta respect even if they claim he was a racist, he hired people of color. Alright? So, and that note, so did Trump. Alright? So did Trump. Just in case somebody wants to throw that at me, I know. Trump hired some black people. Amarosa was his top dog. Until she wasn't. And y'all gotta remember that. Until she wasn't. That will come back to play later in this video. Until she wasn't. Which is, again, why I'm going to piss people off with this thing. I, I call it like I see it. 
My problem with Trump started way before his presidency. I've mentioned this in videos before. All right? Now, it's the same thing. Trump's living rent-free in everybody's head. Trump is causing all kinds of problems. And initially, when I was going to make this video, I had said, because it's January the 6th, that if Trump would have been a black man, this shit would have been solved. All the evidence would have been piled up against him, and he'd be bouncing off the walls in jail right now. Now, on another note, as I like to tell people, I am not a Trump supporter. But I can almost guarantee you this motherfucker's not going to jail. I it, This is the smell of anger, but I'm telling you, he's not going to jail. If he goes to jail, I don't know what I'll do. I don't believe he's going to jail. I don't care what anybody says. This dude is going to get away with whatever it is he's done. He said that he could walk down New York streets and shoot somebody and no one would give a shit. And this is pure example of that fucking happening. Pure example. January 6th. Pure example of that shit happening. But we're not going to get on Trump yet. We're still on Biden. All right? Like I said, crime bills and all kinds of other shit. And then my favorite, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. You can find that motherfucking video. You can find that video because it's only like two years old. He's only been in for two years and some change. So you can find that video and y'all will know for a fact that Echo called it. He literally said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Every black person was probably a little bit taken back for that. Probably more pissed than anything. But still voted his ass in. Still voted his ass in. I voted for him. And as I said in many of videos before, there was only one reason why I voted for him. I wasn't voting for Trump, because Trump is a racist. Now, I can't say Biden's not a racist. I can't say he's completely a racist. But he just had some racist ass shit, and he done done some shit that did not help black people. All right. Got that out of the way. And now we're going to go and attack Trump. All right. I'm trying to be fair here, but I am a little bit biased towards Trump. And I'm a little bit biased towards Biden because Biden shit isn't like a library of shit that you can really find outside of him signing all these damn bills that worked against people of color. Where Trump, on the other hand, has no filter and gives two shits of what he says, where he says, when he says. All right? Now, just, just so did you understand, I did not say Biden was innocent. I did not say that. I literally pointed out the crime bills that he signed in, the three strikes and all that bullshit. He signed in on that shit. And then the only thing that he's really done to really get me saying, what the fuck, was when he said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. So that there in itself, that's some racist ass statement. And you can't say that it's not. He might not have meant to say it that way, but he fucking said it. And I'm a strong believer in once you say something, you meant to say it. Regardless of how you meant to say it, you meant to say it on some level or another, you would not have said it. So, therefore, he said that shit. Alright? Now, now let's go with my beginning problems with Trump. Alright? When Trump started running for office, the first thing I had noticed was that the Standing Rock thing was happening. Alright? So, while the Standing Rock was thing was happening, there was a native woman. They had it on film. I cannot find it. But they had it on video. Where she asked him, if he became president, would he protect the Native Americans in Standing Rock? And he told her to her face, I have no investments going through Standing Rock. At all. So, I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt for that. Because, that's what it was. Now. So then... You know, other things started, like, popping up. And then I started having memories. And I was like, you know, I kind of remember that. And the thing that stuck out the most was the Central Park Five. I can't say shit about 1975 because I was, like, two. 73, 74, 75. So I was, like, two or three years old. Now, I was born in 73, so 73 doesn't count. So 72. Ugh, I'm sucking with math. I was born in 73, so in 75, I was two, and he had a lawsuit about not letting black people live in his facilities, and you can go find that. Yet, there are a lot of black people who still run after this guy's Kool-Aid. Then, if you go a little further into the 80s, 
the shit he said about the Central Park Five was unacceptable. And the fact that as a grown-ass man who's the same age as those kids, I find it immoral that even though they were proven innocent, he couldn't come out and apologize to them. Even when the documentary dropped, they asked him if he wanted to apologize in the documentary, and he brushed that shit off. Y'all motherfuckers don't mean nothing to me. And yet again, I'll say it, because nobody else will, black people still follow them. Same thing with certain Native American actions. And Native still followed him. Now, the thing with, with Natives, in 1993 he had an argument and a disagreement with Natives about casinos in California. You can go find that video and you can say I, I nitpicked and chose what I wanted to hear, but I did watch the whole thing and he did try to turn it around. But he did not like Native Americans and the first thing he said was, they don't look like Natives to me. So, in case y'all aren't aware of the diaspora of brown people, Natives can be as light as white people or as dark as me, all right, and darker than me too, all right? So if you don't know about that, a lot of Natives are light, a lot of Natives are middle, and a lot of Natives are dark. So when he hit them with, they don't like Natives to me, that kind of reminded me of some of the racial shit I went through at school, but, you know, racist is racist, all right? Now... On his first inaugural day, I'm jumping back in, he decided, after Obama decided to decree that nothing was going to happen to the Lakota Sioux of Standing Rock, his first day in, he erased that decree of Obama's and said the pipeline was going through. And you can find all those videos here on YouTube if you so choose to put in the work and look for them. Especially the Standing, Standing Rock stuff and the Central Park Five. All right? started getting mad when I learned about the Standing Rock. I was already mad about the Central Park Five because it was between the Central Park Five and O.J. Simpson where people were paying attention. Now, I don't really give two fucks about his relationship with um, Epstein. Could care two shits. Cause that's like something that's just starting to come to light. And Epstein and him are both rage shitting white people so they don't hate each other. You know, they're, they're rich. They hang in those small circles. Now, granted, I don't believe that uh, Trump is a molester or a sex trafficker. However, that doesn't change the fact that he's a fucking racist. Now, let's 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 go to where I, I really started to dislike Trump was when coronavirus broke out. There are quite a few videos that you can catch him being exceptionally racist to Asian people, and yet some Asian people still follow this motherfucker. And then I made videos about how people who, who, who don't want to do that, it's generally because they haven't been the victims of racism yet, you know? Like when like uh, people mistake Filipinos for Chinese people and cut across their face, you know, he's Asian, so we cut him, we thought he was Chinese. You can find all those videos. You can find all of those videos if you go and look for them. And I'm not saying you to go look for them because I'm not trying to sway you to dislike Trump. That's not my job. You either gonna like the motherfucker or you're not. It's it's the bottom line on that shit. Now, I understand if people follow Trump because it increased their wallet. All right, I can respect you for following him if it increased your wallet. But if you followed him because it made it okay to be racist in public, then I cannot respect that. That's where my problem lies. You know, because the thing, the thing with being a racist is you can choose to be a racist and you can choose not to be a racist. And most people are either going to be an undercover racist or they're going to be a blatant racist. And don't say in the comments, he's not a racist, he's a bigot. Because if you're going to say that, then you need to Google racism, prejudice, and bigotry. Because all of them are exactly the same. And no matter how you slice it, if you hate someone because of the color of their skin, you're a racist. If you hate them for their cultural differences because they're Chinese and you're Japanese, you're a fucking racist. And anybody and everybody can be a racist. 
And yes, white people can experience racism from black people, just like Asian people can experience racism from other Asians as well as whites as well as blacks. No human on earth is above being a fucking racist, regardless of their race. And this is where a lot of things on TikTok get confused because everybody believes that black people can't be racist to white people, and that's a fucking lie. All right? And you don't have to agree with that, but it's the fucking truth. Racism is based on race. Now, systemic racism, that is based on your job and that person's race. Now, if you're in an all-black company and you refuse to hire a white person because you're in an all-black company, you're being a fucking racist. Now, if that um, white person is not legally qualified, that's a different matter. And you can probably use it as a loophole, but here's the way I see it. I'm a man of color. I'm a mixed man. It would be fucked up for me to not hire white people because I am a mixed man. And I decided I'm going to be this all pro-black guy. I'm not going to hire any white people for nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. No, that would make me a fucking racist because I refuse to hire white people because they're white. Fuck the fact that they could probably do the job. That would make me a racist. All right? That would make it systemic racism because I'm the owner of the company and I have power to suppress them because I'm the owner of the company. Therefore, no. Now, back on the Trump thing. Apparently, a lot of people were sleeping when he said that the people skipping over the border, um, the Mexicans and the Hispanics, were murderers, rapists, and drug dealers. And yet, those Hispanics and Mexicans still followed him and still went to vote for him. Now, I know I'm probably pissing everybody off, but hey, you can go find the videos. You can find the videos. You don't have to follow me. You can find the videos, and they will literally point you out to the times where he said the shit on live fucking TV. No. The Mexicans, Hispanics were murderers and rapists and drug dealers. Now, my favorite video of Donald Trump, the one that pissed me off the most, was when the code talkers were talking and he started chiming in on Elizabeth Warren in front of the code talkers. One of the natives broke. One of the old native soldiers, he... <laughs> He literally, he broke. And I was like, yeah, this is bad. I, I didn't know if it was bad because the native broke or because Donald Trump literally called Pocahontas out as Pocahontas in front of them. And when I say that, I mean Elizabeth Warren because that is her name and she does have 4% native DNA. They have proven that, so that can be put to the side. Yes, you can go find that out. Anyway, might be 2%, but I know she had some percent of native DNA in her. Which, the main reason why I wanted to vote for her, because that would have been an honor slap in the face, because you'd have someone with Native blood running a country that was belonging to Native Americans. And that would have been like a double score. You know, yeah, she's white, but she also has Native in her. And if she won the presidency, it'd be a double score because she's Native and she's female. And you couldn't lose there. Period. Except the world's full of sexism, and they don't want a female president because... They're afraid that they're going to negotiate with the men in other countries and talk about sunshines and rainbows and shit. No, a woman can be just as serious as a man. How do you think some of these female companies get off the ground and knock men companies out? It's a bunch of female bosses that only hire men. But those men generally are of um, alternative lifestyle demographic. Anyway, moving on. When, when he started talking about the Chinese virus, the increase of hate came up towards Asians. Black people and white people are like were attacking Asians at an exponentiated rate. And y'all don't have to agree with what I'm saying, but you can go find the videos. And nobody gave a flying fuck until Olivia Munn stepped up and said something. You know? And Olivia Munn is mixed, so of course they're gonna hear her and she's already famous, so they're gonna hear her where when I said something, the first I'm one of the first people that acknowledge the shit when the black guy attacked the Asian girl on the goddamn train. And when the black guy attacked the Asian man trying to kick cans, and everybody was recording that shit. I'm one of the first people to acknowledge that shit, but because I'm nobody, nobody gave a shit. Now, my crush, the beautiful and dangerous and super sexy and delicious Zeta Zang, did something about it. Everybody paid attention, all right? But when I did it, nobody gave a shit. I did it first. Everybody else picked on when... Zeta picked it up, and when somebody else picked it up, and when somebody else picked it up, everybody started saying shit, all right? So shout out to my future wife, the flawlessly beautiful and dangerously sexy Zeta Zang. Anyway, moving on away from that. Trump started showing his shoe colors with the reporter, 
why don't you ask China? Then the white reporter gave her her spot. No, I don't want to talk to women. So then the male gave them both her his spot. No, I don't want to talk to y'all. The, the, the broadcast is over. I'm ending it. And he starts walking off. Now, y'all might not have saw that. But that's what I saw. Because it was on like four channels. And that Chinese reporter, she's from Virginia, where I'm at. So, you know, you, you kind of can't miss this kind of shit. And most people just brush this shit off. But then you have a lot of Trump supporters who only support him because he made it okay to be racist. It is never okay to be racist. I don't care. Now, y'all are going to probably say, well, James or Echo, you're being racist to racist people. Yeah. You got me. I'm being racist to racist people. There's only been one racist man that I've ever respected in my life because he was honest and in my face about that shit. My bros had a roommate whose daddy had a twin brother. And both of the twin brothers straight told me to my face, we don't like black people. We hate black people. That's how we were raised. That's how we raised our kids. But y'all, especially since y'all are mixed, we like y'all. And y'all treat our son but my son, rather, like he's y'all brother. Even though we is racist. I'm going to have to answer that. I thought I had this damn thing cut off. I'm going to have to answer that in a minute. The bottom line is this. I will never support a racist knowingly. Unknowingly is one thing. The lesser of two evils, biting. And I unknowingly, I had to do research to find out about all the crime bills that should be signed. That doesn't get him off the hook. It may make him less racist, if you can call it that. But he, he done said some racist shit. Now, again, let's, let's do that one more time. If you don't vote for me, then you ain't black. That's the only racist shit that you've seen him say. Period. Versus the shit that you've seen Trump say. Trump has been... Racist from day one. He has said bad things. And people have still jumped on his bandwagon. Now I'm not going to get any love from Trump supporters. I get it. And that's fine. I'm not looking for your love. Unless, like I said. Like I said. If you supported Trump because it made your wallet in a better place. I respect that shit. But if you supported Trump because he made it okay for you to walk down the street and call any person of any ethnicity a racial slur that fits them, I don't need that kind of love. Because as a mixed person, it would be fucking disgusting for me to go and walk around and start calling people all the racial shit that comes with their names. I try my best not to use racial words here. I try not to use the N-word. I try not to use the H-word or the C-word. And I know y'all know what the N-word is, but a lot of y'all are young, so y'all don't know what the H-word is or the C-word is. It is what George Jefferson called Mr. Bentley and Mr. Willis on the Jeffersons. And y'all can go Google that shit. I played it because as a mixed person, it, it, it hurts me more to call anybody a racial thing. All right, And I'm not guilty of this I am guilty of acknowledging that we got to step back on this shit. We got to step back big time. I have had racial incidences happen to me. And I have racially returned the same shit. You know, except for when it came to school where I was half-breed this, half-breed that, zebra this, zebra that. And then that one girl called me the N-word, and I popped her in the mouth. We weren't even allowed to use the N-word in our house when I was a kid. That word was, the, that we could cuss all we want, but we couldn't say the N-word. Which is kind of bizarre, but you know, M-F, S-H-I-T, F-E-C-K, P-I-T-C-H. Oh, we, we could do all that. But we never, ever used the N-word. When we lived in the projects. I have nephews who don't stop using the N-word. It burns me up. But they're not mine. So I can't beat their ass. I have had to tell people. No. That's not cool. Can't you identify yourself as something else? Can't you say what's up bro? Or how's it going man? Or what the deal dude? 
No. It's still the N-word. And then I tell my nephews what I'm going to tell you. If you hell-bent on calling yourself this shit, then you can't get mad when a white man calls you that shit, a Spanish man calls you that shit, or an Asian man calls you that. Well, women, because you stoop so low that you would call yourself that shit, that you deserve that shit. And I'm sorry, that may sound harsh, but it's true. If you're willing to call yourself a racial slur, you deserve to get that shit. Now, disclaimer. Disclaimer before I um, be called a hypocrite. In every script that I wrote for myself, for whatever character I was going to play when I make my YouTube films, I am always in a racial situation where someone in that script calls me a half-breed. And the reason why I did that is so that people like me would have some representation. Now, in a Hollywood film, I'm never being recognized, which is why I'm billing myself out as Echo Fangry Wolf, a Native American, versus James Williams Jr., a mixed Native person. All right? James Williams Jr. has to die so the Echo Fangry Wolf can live. Otherwise, I might not be able to have a career at all. And as far as, like, if I read a script and I have to be racist in this script, we're going to have a meeting before we start filming to make sure the actor on the other end of this receiving end knows that, yo, please don't take this shit personally. I don't like using words like this. This is not some shit that I do. And I'm sure this has had to be done by a lot of actors that um had to play roles where they had to use racial slurs. I'm pretty sure they all had a meeting at the beginning. It's like, yo, y'all read the script. Y'all seen page 25 and how many times I say the N-word. You know, I'm sure that goes on. Because that's the only way I'm going to film that shit without having a, a meeting. It's not going to um, it's not gonna go well. I'm going to have to have a meeting with the actors or actresses that I have to call racial slurs. That's just not how I roll. It's like when, when I film my own shit, um, I've had to have some conversations. It's like, yo, man, um, let's not have the N-word like be all over the movie. It's like, what? It's like, yeah, I promised my father when I made movies that there would be less cuss words. And less use of the word in. It's like, why would you do that? It's like, because my dad watched one of my movies. And all he heard from certain actors, who I'm speaking to specifically, in this, MF that, this, this, and this. And then a couple of MFs or something come out my mouth, but never the N-word. And then, um, <laughs> I know this is not on a topic, but I got to say it because it, it kind of fits in. I have a series that got stolen. It was called Guardians of the Earth. Um, I put my bro Courtney Monroe in. He played Daikon Dark Cloud. I played Wind of the House of Wind. There's a scene where Steel and Flame are fighting him. And they call him a big black bee. And I'm like, dude! You know, as soon as they said it, I said cut. It's like, no, cut! It's like, no, no, no! You, you guys can't do that! And Courtney's like, dude, um, that's gonna stay in the film. I was like, dude, that's racist as fuck. He's like, it's okay. Calm down. Calm down. And he's a black guy. You know, he had to calm me down. He had to, he had to, he had to snap me into reality. He says, look, I'm a dark-skinned brother. I had to go through this shit most of my life. I understand how this works. And I said, well, I'm a mixed person. And I've been the victim of racism all my fucking life. And I refuse to do reverse racism. He said, like, yeah, but you're going to leave it in here. Because... It's going to make a point when it's done. All right. So then we had that, that, that talk about let's not use the N-word and cut back on the cussing. And so we had to do that. But some scenes the cussing actually fits. That's one of the scenes the cussing actually fits. But it hurt me. It didn't hurt him. But it hurt me. It was like, dude, I would never say that to somebody. It's like, yeah, that's why they're saying it to me and you're not. And it's like, yeah, he's like, yo, it's a movie, man. Calm down. And he had, he, had, he, had to, he had to, like, give me a dose of reality. You know, it's a movie. Nobody's getting hurt. Nobody's hurt. Just just relax. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry, man. 
it's trauma response for, for being the victim of racism from whites and blacks all my life. So if anybody can talk about racism, believe you, it's me. And and the thing that, that stuck out is like he literally had to educate me on it being a movie <laughs> because I was so stunned. And we kept it. But it doesn't really matter because no one's ever going to see it because somebody in Alabama has my project. But the fact of the matter is, you know, I, I, I kind of want to make sure that if anybody's going to be a victim of racism in a film, I would mother rather have it come directly at me than have me directing it at somebody else, which is why that meeting would be important if I had to have any racial slurs come on my mouth. It's like, look, I got to make sure everybody's okay with this shit because I'm going to give you the performance you asked for. I'm going to try not to go over the top with it, but if I got to dig deep to, to bring this shit out, it's not going to be cool, no. So, I'm going to end the video with this. If you're following Trump because he made your wallet thick, I can respect that. If you're following Trump because he made it okay for you to walk around and start talking about people um, racially, no, um, that's not cool. That being said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of hate for this video, so... I'm going to end it one more time with an apology to my 220 people who are here. I am very sorry if I have hurt anybody's feelings in this video. I have tried to make this video five times today. This is like the fifth or sixth attempt at this shit. And so come hell or high water, this is it, man. Because you, you don't really know how to address racism if you haven't been the victim of racism. If you haven't seen racism right up in your face, then you don't know how to address it. And I will make a second video completely about that. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm Echo Fan Grey Wolf. I'm sorry if I hurt anybody's feelings. Have a nice night.